Is Canada a place you 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 feel you can live? Um, are you a prospective international student? Are you open to live uh, in a place aside, uh, maybe like Ontario, uh, Saskatchewan? What's up guys? How you all doing? Trust you guys are doing well. It's your boy Michael. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to ask a question before I go ahead. Is Canada a place you, you, you feel you can live? Um, are you a prospective international student? Are you open to live uh, in a place aside, uh, maybe like Ontario, uh, Saskatchewan? Are you open to live in a in a rural area that is not too that is not too populated? If your answer is yes to this question, then you can go ahead to watch this video. Anyway, uh, my name is Michael. If this is your first time coming across this channel, thank you for stopping by. So today I want to give you guys some tips uh, or some places that you can apply to in Canada, especially if you are looking for. Uh, a, um, a province that uh, is very cheap to live uh, the, the standard of living there is, is a little bit low compared to like Ontario then uh, you know continue watching this video and it's also if you are also looking for like a tuition uh, that I mean institution that offer low tuition then that is what I want to talk about in this video so guys let's go straight to my point so I watched this article recently that talked about places that uh, you can apply to in Canada that uh, you know is welcoming for international students and is a little bit lower compared to other provinces and that's why I'm creating this content. So number one is New Brunswick. Yeah, in fact, before I started this YouTube channel, there's a guy I used to follow that resides in Canada. His name is Pascal. Okay, he's also a YouTuber. Uh, he actually study in New Brunswick, he graduated a couple of years back and is permanent resident today. So if you are looking for uh, a places that you can get a low tuition and also you can get a scholarship uh, that is going to lower your tuition for you, you might want to consider New Brunswick uh, province. Uh, there's a lot of school in that area that you can take advantage of. I am not too sure if they are going to have every course. No, there's no harm in you giving it a try to look at uh, some of the course that they might have if it's something that is within the range of what you want to study. My number two is going to be uh, Prince Edward uh, province. Uh, this is also a place that uh, provides international student lower tuition. Yes, uh, I remember sometimes ago I was looking at school when I was contemplating of relocating uh, from US to Canada. I actually went through the province and I saw some schools that are very, very cheaper, even compared to what I pay here in America. Last, last but not the least is going to be uh, New Phone Island. Yes, New Phone Island. Uh, if you are the type that you think you can cope with cold, anyway, uh, Canada is generally is cold, but I, I, from my own research, I think New Phone Island is very, very cold compared to um, um, other places maybe because it's not that uh, really populated so if you know you can cope with the ice or the snow uh, you know give it a try there are cheaper schools in fact among the three uh, provinces that I've just mentioned I would say uh, from what I've seen so far I would say um, the new phone island is has a cheaper tuition compared to all these two that I mentioned at first so um, that's the information that I feel that I should share with you guys today and also on this video I'm going to be putting a link, link of some school uh, in these three provinces in fact I might even have a bonus to it that you can check out and you know make your own research before you apply to any school try and make your own research know their requirements also know that uh, also try and uh, also try and know if you are going to be getting your work permit that's what I mean is that uh, every school is a designated learning but you have to make sure that you can get a right paper 
to stay in the country when you are done with your program so you want to make sure you have that information especially if you know you want to stay in the country after your program so that's the information i feel i should share with you guys today uh thank you for watching like i said check out the um the description box in this video i'll be putting some school there that you can check them out if it's going to be a good fit for you so guys uh, and if you have not sub subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel for me to continue to create more content for you guys thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now